Gentlemen, start your engines. It's the final count. We're not content with this. We still have a lot left to prove. It's something that I've dreamt about my entire life. Incredible. We know Dango is to be playing in that final game. We gotta make sure we get our gas tank full again. Yeah! It's time. You gotta make that move and get ready for the home stretch. I like being the underdog. I've been the underdog my whole life. I think a really good shot of his crap not checking play. Buckle up. We are back in Indianapolis, this great city knows how to host championship events. For the eighth time hosting the Final Four, no place can do it any better than Circle City. And we're getting set for the second game. National semifinal Saturday. The Bruins are taking the floor. What a run this has been for them. Had to play the extra game, the first four, and had to come back from 14 against Michigan State. And in overtime, on its way to getting here to take on the team that's been number one since the first poll of the season. Trying to go wire to wire as the team to beat in college basketball. The Zags take the floor for the second time at a Final Four. Come on in and join us. Welcome back, friends, along with Grant Hill, Bill Raftery, Gene Steratore is over here, should we need him, and Tracy Wilson, of course, as well. Jim Nance, we've seen Baylor already advance, knocking out Houston, dominant performance by the Bears, but now we got a team that has truly been dominant, guys, all season long. Uh, this team has been dominant indeed, trying to become a team for the ages, but to be perfection, the Bruins must be perfect tonight. They are not a Cinderella, let's face it. They won too many national championships. <laughs> it's all about pace, controlling that for UCLA if they want to win this game. Yeah, when we talk about how dominant they've been, you've heard it all, folks, not only undefeated, they've won their last 27 games by double digits, and they've got so many ways to beat you. These guys are just great, these three. And we have a big three here where their big three is incredible, and they score in a number of ways. The variety of their offensive attack, the most efficient offense in all of college basketball, they force turnovers, and they get out and fill the lanes. They run, they all can facilitate, and all finish at the rim. And of course, they have the big fella inside, Timmy. You gotta love his game. And his mustache, so patient, so fundamental, gets it done one on one. And then their offensive execution, they cut and they all can pass. This offense is high power, Jim. Well, UCLA, meantime, comes in here again. As an 11 seed, they win the East bracket. They beat the one and two seeds along the way. They came in on a four game losing streak into the NCAA tournament. Yes, the four teams that beat them all made the NCAA tournament field, but they weren't hot for heaven's sake. And look what they've done. Just Virginia Commonwealth down in Houston in 2011 went from the first four to the final four. Now we got a second team with the Bruins and Bill. How about this bunch and the way they have found ways to win? Uh, they've been on a roll because of this guy. Johnny! And he knocked him down from deep. He's got a great feel for the game. You can see the point totals. Solid using screens. Gets the puppies organized. And draws some nylon. Plus 28 points in the regional. Big contribution. They need a superior game from him. He's wonderful without the ball. We know about the stroke. But getting free, a little step and go. He is solid. Why not? The most outstanding player in the East region. He's not the only Brewing, Billy. Hey, I mean, Yakka is one of those kids that has a lot of energy, great strength, endless amount of aggressive play, gets in the lane, he can turn around and make that little jump shot. Well, it's an all West matchup. It's UCLA and Gonzaga, and the winner to face Baylor on Monday night for the national championship. We're going to meet the teams when we come back to Indianapolis on CBS. Oh, yeah. Okay.